Hey guys, welcome back. So, to end this lovely 2013, I'm going to be showing you my favourites of 2013. So that's all my makeup products that I've loved um, this year and I've used and worshipped and loved and obviously not throughout the whole year but as I'm going along through the year stuff that I've picked up on the way and I've loved and I use all the time so it's obviously added to the collection each time and yes yeah, so if you'd like to see my 2013 favourites and just keep on watching okay I'm just going to do this a bit random I'm going to start off with whichever gets in my hand first okay the first thing is the Naked Basics Urban Decay Palette which if you don't already know looks like that so I've been using this a lot in my actual Dior makeup bag that I've got, my, the one that I carry with me everywhere I go. Um, it's really good obviously to do some touch ups, simple everyday looks which I do do a lot of and this gorgeous faint and naked two colours are really good for filling your eyebrows in and highlighting under the brow bar area and it's a very good small compact um, palette to get to so that has been a favourite. For this year the next thing is that you guys have also seen me use is my mac neutralized pro palette so that's obviously got a lot of white colors shimmery colors gold colors browns bronzes blacks just different kind of earthly tones so obviously i've liked to use that for kind of everyday looks again and then for my more extravagant looks, as you guys have noticed when I actually screamed when I got this palette, is the Urban Decay Vice 2 palette, which has been one of my favourites. This is actually, out of all the three palettes, this is my number one favourite. So again, that is the colours that are in there. I've literally touched pan on that, that, and that. And nearly on that purple colour there, because I've just used it so much. So this has definitely been... A number one 2013 favourite for my eyeshadows. Okay, next moving on to my skincare routine. Um, I always keep this in the box because I think I spent so much money on it in this MAC because I'm gonna. It's been my MAC Fast Response Eye Cream. So obviously that, I just kind of use that around my under eye circles and then just use it in the morning and in the evening to kind of get rid of it. So I've kind of used this a lot, oh God, sorry, I've used this a lot this year. I only started to use it this year and it has worked amazingly. And I do highly recommend for you guys to go check it out if you already haven't done so. It is a really nice cream to use and it comes in a little tube like that. And I've had this for like, since I've been on YouTube probably and look how much the tube has not even moved because you slightly slightly just need a smidge of it and then you just kind of dot it around and then it kind of sucks your under eyes in which kind of makes it look quite good it's kind of like the Urban Decay tightening and the primer that you use it kind of tightens all your skin in and I've noticed a massive difference I don't have to conceal under my eyes as much so well that is my skincare routine and I've also been using the number 7 beautiful skin melting gel cleanser I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but do you guys know when you take your makeup off at the end of the day, at the end of whatever time, the evening, the afternoon, the morning, whatever when time you choose to wear your makeup, it actually statistically shows that it takes seven wipes to get off your makeup, take like fully get off, uh, take your makeup off. But if you use one makeup wipe and use this number seven one, that is equivalent to seven uh, wipes. So it's mad, but I love this, and probably my third or fourth tube of this but yeah it's really nice get this from boots so definitely go and check that out and then the next one has been fade out a white uh, nourishing night cream which fades pigmentation marks age spots and freckles and it hasn't it hasn't got no like chemicals it's just got natural stuff in there which I do like it's just simple and what it does is it makes the dark areas disappear, it makes your skin actually feel more sucked in, more lighter, more younger um, and it makes your skin just feel fresh, revitalised so you don't have to kind of have all blotchy things everywhere and it actually does it in four weeks, the pigmentation on your face will actually go. So again I got this from Boots, quite, it's a very highly recommended product. 
that is for my skincare routine that I have loved this year and I really wanted to mention this because this is a godsend and it does do a lot of stuff for me and it's helped me a lot this year, it's helped loads of my clients and I've never actually tried any other spray except this one so I'm definitely going to give this a 10 out of 10 because it has been a godsend which is the Ebon Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray so I've actually used this on a lot of clients um, before and this is actually my bottle, their bottle is in my kit uh, in my vanity case but um, I've used it on a lot of people and it just lasts for ages like I've done so many um, makeup looks on myself every day and I've had this for months and it's still not has touch wood it's got loads in there at the moment so I'm really really impressed with that and if you're looking for a good setting spray then Urban Decay is definitely um, a must and then obviously like I just wanted to mention this because I thought that it had actually helped my skin but as I've been doing quite um, an in-depth skin routine on my face every day that I have noticed that I don't have to wear makeup as much so in some videos you will obviously see me with not makeup on because I don't actually wear it a lot um, when I'm usually at home a lot because I'm actually off from uni at the moment but I've, obviously when I'm on jobs and stuff I do obviously wear it when I'm out and about and if I'm going out anywhere or anything like that but um, I've been using a lot of different lotions on my face but I just find that there's a lot of like different chemicals in there some are so expensive and they don't live up to the actual deed of what they do but I found with the Nivea lotion it is absolutely a godsend. I love it. It's like, it's for, I've got the one that's for normal skin. Because touch wood, I, I have quite a good skin. I don't have oily skin. I don't have patchy skin. I don't have like um, acne or um, dry. So I'm actually, touch wood, I'm quite normal like with my skin. So I'm quite happy with that. And um, quite blessed to have like just normal skin and stuff. So... I'm happy with the way that I used to use like Dove before and Max um, Nourishing Cream, but when I turn to Nivea, I love it. And girls, I definitely recommend if you're looking for a, a cream that will really help and enhance your face, and definitely go and try this out. This is like two pounds for Boots, and look how big it is, and it's still keeping me going. And I always use this on my clients, and it actually brings out the light in your face. Okay, so where do I start? Okay, I'm just going to obviously be talking to you next about um, maybe some face products. Yeah, let's do the face products. Okay. For my face primer, hands down, the best primer in the world is Max Prep and Prime love this, use this all the time, absolutely amazing primer, you only need the tiniest dime of it and it does wonders, so that has been my favourite primer. Okay, as you guys see me in a lot of videos to um, set my conceal area, I use the Banana uh, Luxury Powder by Ben Nye and Kim Kardashian actually does use this a lot in her day to day life. So I, I actually do use this a lot on my face and I find that for Asian dark, medium to dark skin complexions it is an actually very good product to use so highly recommend that. And as you guys know that I've been screaming about this product because I mention in all my videos is the NARS Orgasm Blusher. I love it, I've only had it for a couple of months and I've already hit the pan because I use it like mad, even if I'm not going out, I just put it on because it's such a nice blush and it just, I've got it on today and it just brings out your cheeks and brings out your face so I do love this a lot, I would highly recommend, this is probably the best bronzer I've seen, I'm sorry, the best blush I've seen in NARS so even in MAC collection that I've got I always turn to this because it is quite a nice one, okay, um, in terms of setting my whole face in every single video you see me use so my yearly favourite has definitely got to be the MAC Mineral Skin Finish in Medium Dark so I use this a lot, it's amazing, I use it all the time and it literally does not use like look like it has been used that's how well of a product it is so I'm really happy with that and it always gives me a matte finish like a, an airbrush finish like I always desire and again my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, always use this to highlight. 
in the shade Adored. Now this is obviously a limited edition one so you can obviously not get it unless you try on like eBay or Amazon or I don't know maybe Mac might bring it back in again hopefully but it is so gorgeous. It's like a peachy kind of natural sparkle kind of tone which is good for everyday use and it kind of gives you that really nice sheen to your face which I do absolutely love. And obviously again as I said to you I'm just going to obviously show you my yearly favourites but a couple of months obviously the stuff that I brought out as well. So this obviously came out a couple of weeks ago which was the MAC Kariri uh, bronzing powder and again this is definitely my favourite bronzer of this year. I even keep it in the actual box because I love it so much. Okay now moving on to... Um, Maybe some eye products. Just quickly get them out. Okay. My favourite um, eye glitters that I have found have been amazing are the Collection 2000 ones. Um, I've loved them. I've used even the um, Urban Decay ones. I've used every single colour that there is out there on every single look and I just obviously with the Christmas period with the winter kind of season it's nice to obviously have quite nice glittery eyes and even for like New Year's and stuff I have used them a lot so that is definitely they've definitely been uh, like amazing and they last so long and they stay on your eyes for ages you can even not put any fix plus or water or glue or nothing like that and it just actually lasts just on its own so okay for mascaras I will have to say that my two I couldn't actually decide which one was my yearly favorites but it's got to be the telescopic extra black mascara by L'Oreal and also the MAC 3D Dimension Mascara so that has definitely been my two favourites I cannot choose out of both of them whenever I do my um, makeup whichever one comes in my hand first I just grab it and then these two are always the one when I go away these two are always the one that go into my makeup collection okay the lip liner that I've loved this year and I've used quite a lot has been again by MAC in the colour Boldly Bare it's kind of very nice nude colour because as you guys have seen in a lot of videos I do do quite vibrant eyes so I do kind of like my lips to look quite matte and um, not stand out as much as my eyes have and like just my face to kind of neutralise everything out so um, for my under eyes, for my waterline, for my upper waterline, for um, doing lines on my face, for doing my upper um, eyeliner, I've loved obviously Max, definitely black eyeliner love the way the tip is it just glides on so smoothly and I just love the finish that it actually does give you and another one has been as you guys have seen me use a lot of my videos is the Maybelline New York coil pencil which I have loved I love that it's got such a fat end on it so you can kind of get into the deeper areas a lot more better okay now in terms of my eyebrow products um, oh yeah sorry forgot to mention for um, I've also even used this a lot, which is the Maybelline New York in the colour number one black gel eyeliner. So I love this obviously for the precision that it gives, the finish that it gives, the way you can blend it out and actually use it as an eyeshadow or as a base or anything like that. So I have loved this quite a lot as well. And lastly for my eyebrows. As you guys have seen me in every video of mine, use this Maybelline New York Brow Drama in medium brown. Love, love, love it. I don't even have to fill my eyebrows in. All I do is just use this, take the wand out and just put it on and I'm good to go. It takes me literally two seconds to do my eyebrows and that's it. I'm out the door. You see some like ladies or women or whoever, if you guys do it, you like some people, like, like my sister, she spends ages on her eyebrows her eyebrows are just everything to her and that is with a lot of people which is like passion of mine is my eyes i like my eyes to look wow and flawless all the time and even my foundation and like she loves her eyebrows so that is a very good product again definitely it's only 4.99 in boots and i would definitely recommend to go and try that out okay so it's getting smaller guys it's getting smaller okay for lip The lip glosses I have loved have been my three Dazzle Glasses by MAC. 
so as you've seen I've used these in a lot of video like Venus many honey and extra amps so they're the three that I love and use all the time okay now I'm gonna do probably my foundation last so I've just got a couple of things to mention Oh yeah, and also um, I forgot to mention in my skin routine when I put on my moisturiser, I always use, this is probably my fourth bottle now, of MAC Strobe Cream. And what this does is it kind of brings out any spots, any blemishes, anything in your face that you have got known to man, <laughs> like anything on your face, it will actually bring it out. And it's really good to obviously mix this with your moisturiser and use it. So that is, again, another facial product that I love. Okay, now moving on to eye primers. I have loved the NARS primer. It's obviously a duo with a primer and a concealer. And again, I was on a Max website earlier on because I was looking for some lip palettes, and they said the number one product was this pro paint part in Paintly. And this has absolutely been a godsend. I love this colour, it's amazing. I've used so much of the actual product. Um, I've still got so much left. It is an amazing product, it just gives you a really nice base and it makes every eyeshadow as vibrant as it is so I do absolutely love that a lot and also um, my studio finish conceal in NW35 by MAC which I like to put on as you guys know before I put on anything on my eyes okay now to conceal <laughs> I've got three favourites which you guys have seen me use a lot the first one is my Age Rewind Eraser which is my concealer from uh, Maybelline New York and this is in the shade Nude so that comes with like an applicator brush like that um, love 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 this this is my number one drugstore uh, concealer so I absolutely love that and I'm kind of fighting between the two I kind of know which one has been my favourite but I've used this a lot through 2013 in the past couple of years ever since I've touch makeup I've always used this and that is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW35 love 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 this this is my number one top concealer and I think it will always be because it gives me that amazing flawless finish that I love and it just gives me that matte finish and I always use it on my clients and I've also tried loads of concealers but I always go back to that because it, it just gives you that kind of flawless finish that no other concealer can give you but as I said to you, I've been trying some new products and I did come across something that was very slightly three quarters of the way similar and did kind of like make me think, which was the Urban Decay 24-7 Concealer Pencil in the shade M16. That's obviously for medium to dark Asian skin tone colours, that's the one you would probably need. It's in a pen form like this. Um, this is actually in the Renner with the MAC one. I actually do like this and I've been using this a lot uh, because obviously MAC is quite a heavy coverage. I don't use that one as much if I'm going out or if I'm doing something. In my day-to-day -day jobs I use more of the Urban Decay one. Okay, so the last thing is, I'm sorry I rambled on for so long, this video is actually so long, is the foundations. Okay, now um, to start off with, I have to say again, MAC has been for I've been doing makeup for years and years now, probably like since I was like 14, 15 I think and um, MAC has been with me since then and I loved it so much and I always have been using it throughout there but it's just the coverage has been quite heavy but I do still go back to it all the time so MAC Pro Longwear, found, sorry not Pro Longwear, Studio Fix Fluid is been my number one favourite. Okay. Sorry, I'm putting stuff back as I'm talking because I'm losing, I'm getting like running out of desk space. So, um, another one that has been a favourite again is the by far after MAC. This is my number one favourite. When I go out anywhere, any function, anything, this is what I use all the time, which is the Oriental Crayolan um, paint stick. 
yeah tv paint stick i love it i've used so much of it like i don't know how much i've got left but yeah i've got quite quite a lot left but i just love this um it gives me the most amazing finish i could ever dream of so um when i do go out i do use the crayolan a lot more than i do use mac uh probably just because of the finish that i do get with it okay to go on to drugstore um, a lot of people have actually not liked this foundation but I have it has been one of my yearly favourites for this year and when it came out there was loads of reviews and raves about it going on but I actually like it as I said to you for an everyday foundation I do use this a lot it's probably like my third bottle now so I do use this a hell of a lot it's really cheap it gives you such a good finish as if it's like a MAC foundation so that is the L'Oreal Nude Magic foundation in the colour 220 sand sand no yeah golden sand so that's that one there so I've used that a lot a hell of a lot that I've used that and I have loved it um I do use it on a daily basis because obviously when you get to MAC it's quite a heavy foundation. Okay, alongside that, a couple of months ago as I've showed you guys, I came across the Naked Foundation in the shade 7. And um, I just, a lot of people have actually commented that this foundation has actually suited my skin really well. Um, I actually got coloured matched when I got this foundation and I found out that the colour was absolutely amazing. That's when I got my concealer and um, my lipstick as well. So that has been a number one favourite for this year and that I have loved. Um, and the next one is this such an easy foundation. A lot of people do not like it but I love it. Which is the Dior Air Flash Foundation. It is on the pricey side a lot but it's in the shade 400 but it's worth every single little penny i love it i seriously do like it a lot i think it's an absolutely um amazing amazing foundation and sorry i'm just gonna grab my lipstick okay and uh, lastly okay sorry guys I'm talking so long lastly the um my favorite lipstick i obviously have loads but this has been my ultimate yearly favourite so which is my Urban Decay lipstick in the colour Rush and that looks like that and that is the lipstick that I'm currently wearing right now oh love this lipstick and the dupe of it you can get in number 7 um, can't remember what the actual name was when I do actually f go and find it out I will um, let you guys know about it on um, either my Facebook page or I'll leave a, a link in the description box below so yeah the box is empty now god okay so I just want to say thank you so much for all the support 2000 and year 13 has been amazing I just want to thank all my lovely clients who are watching all my lovely lovely subscribers um, if you just tuned in thank you so much for actually taking the time to watch my yearly favourites what I've enjoyed, what I've loved um, what I recommend to you guys because that's what I love, you guys are my life I love you guys so much and I can't say enough Like words can't describe how thankful I am to have so much support from you guys so I just want to say a massive thank you for everything you've ever done and all the beautiful nice comments and I've met loads of different YouTubers on here and it has been amazing and MK Hair and Beauty from everyone we just want to say thank you so much and yeah I'm so excited for 2014 to come all my bookings everything that I've got coming up I'm just mega excited to take you guys out and about with me and obviously show you loads more tutorials on different things so yeah this is going to be my last video of 2013 so I just want to wish everybody a happy 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 new year and I hope 2014 is a year for you guys so yeah if you guys have enjoyed this video please do hit the thumbs up button and please also do subscribe take care guys see you 2014 bye